In this episode of Cubs Out Loud, it's our What's Going On for the month of February. This month, the guys get snowed in and deal with some wintry fatigue. From binging shows and geeking out over D&D, listen as the Cubs bring you up to speed as they continue through the second month of 2021. Melt some snow and shake your G fuel as COL 592 starts now. February 28th, 2021. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. And welcome to Cubs Out Loud, the Bear Podcast, of the Turbine Length, episode number 592. Hey, check that out. I did a perfect intro. Doesn't happen very often nowadays for some reason. You want a cookie? Sure. Uh, anyways, we aren't uh, finished yet, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll screw yeah, something yeah. up. <laughs> well, let's... well, that's the that's the that's the cert. I think we're sticky. Here's your cookie. So we're not yeah. sticky yet, apparently. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, oh, that. <laughs> Uh, let's get into this. It was a cold hearted stay. Ooh. Uh, welcome to the coldest time in, 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 in Austin history. Well, probably not in history, but. Um, uh, I was out of water. I didn't have water for like three days. Uh, oh, wow. Last, last week? No, the week before. Um, uh, because it got damn cold here in Texas. Mm-hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. This is Texas cold. I mean, it hit freezing, like consistently below freezing, mm-hmm. which for my home state of Minnesota, well, that's, that's standard. That's normal. I don't know what's your mm-hmm. problem, but yeah. uh, of course, this being normally that that cold here is like getting down into the fifties, mm-hmm. or even the uh, even reaching down as low as the the forties, maybe hitting thirties for like a hot minute. Mm. Um. But because of the constant freezing temperatures, and it literally f- freezing, it was below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, below zero degrees Celsius. Mm-hmm. Um, pipes broke all over the freaking state. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, including Austin. Uh, me living in the city proper, I only had three days without uh, water. So I had to like melt snow and stuff to felt the to uh, 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 flush my toilet. Mm. Um, it wasn't that bad, honestly. It 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 wasn't that big of a deal. I had to like because normally uh, I'm drinking lemonades and stuff that I I normally you know the powdered mixes because you know that's what mm-hmm. I do. Um, Instead of sodas, well, I actually went and got a case of soda because I knew mm-hmm. knew as things were starting to recover, they would get things fixed and everything would start coming back, and I wouldn't have to worry worry so much. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. More wow, more D and D, and everything, but and also the title and everything was. Just something I had thought of and I thought was funny. Cold yeah. 
it's very interesting because I think you, as you said, you lived in the city proper, so you were, I don't want to say protected, but you, you didn't lose power, right? Right. But everything, yeah. the only thing I lost was water. Yeah. Um, although to, to be fair, there were plenty of places in Austin, which did lose power. Yeah. Um, so I was, I, I will, I will flat out say, I, I, I admit, I understand I was a lucky one. Mm -hmm. uh, so I didn't have any issues whatsoever besides the water and mm -hmm. that I was able to make it through just fine. Yeah. So did you go outside and get any snow, bring it inside to melt, to flush your toilet? Yeah, I actually yeah. said that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Wait till we we'll get, get to, to mine, you'll understand. Yeah, we'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> <'Cause... Damn. laughs> it's, it's okay, baby. It's fine. <laughs> totally fucking zoned out. Anyways. <laughs> Otherwise, I just yeah. stayed. Oh, and then my hair, because because I couldn't take a shower, my hair it was starting to get like my hair and beard. Like you saw it last week. Like I, I was. If we finally get water back and I give it a few a little bit of time to, to at least hopefully have our, our water heater working. And I'm not going to trim my beard and, and cut my hair until I can take a shower right after I do it because, you know. Mm. Yeah. Hair gets everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I, I trim my beard, shave my head naked, and then... <laughs> Then brush myself off, sweep up everything that's on the floor, pop in the shower, pretty much. Got so it. Cool. I was able to do that, which felt so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. And here I am. That's me. Aww. Damon, how about you? What's been going on? Um, so speaking of song lyrics as titles... Um, second verse, same as the first. Uh, <laughs> January, February have pretty much been the same. The only difference was, as Jeff mentioned, like the snowstorm that hit everybody. Um, I'm assuming everybody. Um, it, instead of being stuck at home because of COVID, I was stuck at home because of, you know, snow and such. Um, again, it, I, I, it didn't affect me. Again, I was I will own I was lucky. Nothing really bad happened here at the house. Um, just a lot of snow on the ground and difficulties getting out of our driveway because of um, the amount of snow that fell. I think Cincinnati in total, I feel like we got over a foot. Um, uh, I would have just in general, that like six inches, yeah. which is enormous for yeah Austin. um uh i did attempt to shovel snow um it is not my thing um <laughs> <laughs> welcome to home ownership yeah um you need I, a snowblower. I was able to get like so as i if you watch follow me on facebook um we did have a guy come over and he shoveled some of our driveway and the walkway um, for a bit before like one one evening and literally the next day it snowed again and yeah so all the work pretty much went and with increasing amounts of snow over the next several days um, um, he had said he would call back um, and if it snowed again and would reach out about potentially shoveling again, didn't hear from him. Hmm. Shocker. Um, so, uh, we, we survived until the snow eventually melted. Um, again, we didn't really go out much. Um, I, like I, I did snow shovel the walkway and the sidewalk a bit to get some kind of a path. Um, uh, one, because, um, you're required to by the city because if you're if it snows and it's not like if you don't put like if you don't shovel and you don't salt then the um 
you know, they can find you. And if someone is injured, like a male person, a a delivery person um, coming to your home is injured, then it's on you because, um, yeah. So and so for those that don't know, like don't get it in your head that if you don't shovel and you leave it alone, if something happens, it's on them because there's a whole like you know they see that it's not been touched. Da 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 da. No, no. Some places do require you to do it. So I get a majority do. Yeah. So it's a, it's a public safety <laughs> thing. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I didn't do as much as I would have liked to to have done just because um, it killed my back and I I I I didn't touch the driveway at all. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I think I got a decent enough path through to where it, it was been hopefully beneficial. Um, as I say, time to invest in a snowblower. Yeah. Um, it's funny. <laughs> you think about that, but you don't think about it until like, it's like that. Like the snow is awful. Cause I did look at trying to get snowblowers. There were obviously none available nearby, and shipping it wasn't going to come until tomorrow, like March. So, <laughs> yeah, I but mean, it's worth the investment I, for I, the future. I, right? I understand the investment for the future, and I will probably invest in one because it was our biggest issue is that our garage is under the house. So in order to get into it or out of it, you have to go up a up a hill or down a hill. So it's a small hill, but it is, especially with the amount of snow that we got, it was difficult. Jim eventually was able to get out by like doing a little bit of shoveling and salting himself. Uh, but um, then once you get out of it, you didn't have to go down the driveway out and there are still some slick spots there. So it took some time and patience and he got through, but um, it it's not easy. <laughs> and I could see investing in a snow plow or a snow sh uh, blower to, to take care of it. Although doing it on, on the hill, on the driveway hill would probably not be easy. Because it just, you know, it just blows it away, you know, it, but blowing it away in one direction is hitting the side of the house and blowing it in another direction is hitting basically the wall before you get up onto the driveway. So eh, we'll see. But that's me. Gary. Is muted. Sorry. You may find actually uh it might be more cost effective if you don't get that much snow that often mm -hmm. and don't need to clear out the driveway all that much or the sidewalk or whatever to just to like contract a service yeah um and you know most commercial venue businesses do it like my you know my main employer i know every single morning i go into work at least the parking lot and the sidewalk will pretty much be clear um you know, and, and I was just thinking, because I've been to your home, Damon, I know, like, that back drive angled because the garages in the basement thing, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that that hill thing in the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, can yeah. you imagine, like, eight feet of snow or seven feet of snow on that thing and trying to get that? Well, yeah. I mean, I would just, I, I mean, if I were Jim, I would just call everybody and be like, um, we're trapped, <laughs> we're snowed in, and when we say snowed in, we mean snowed in. Like, yeah. those videos you show where they open the door and it's just mm -hmm. all snow. Yeah. 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 That's, that would, that would be the one thing I would think of that uh, the downside of where the basement uh, garage is on the backside of your home that yeah, if it fills in with snow, there's, it doesn't go anywhere. Like, it's just mm -hmm. there. Mm-hmm. So yeah, well, that's that. That's that. I I I thought about like it's funny because we're on this app called Nextdoor, and there were so many people, um, like we'll come shovel and da da da. And I'm like, if I I really did consider it, 
And if I if if I had had any money, any cash, <laughs> like I because I paid the one guy before, if I'd had any more cash on me, I probably would have done it and just been like, let's get it done so that it's mm-hmm. done. And I know it would probably be a bigger job, um, but I I couldn't do it. I tried. I tried. <laughs> but at least you tried. Yeah. It it makes me think of when I was a kid and I grew up the the place that I grew up uh, the home that I grew up in was uh, multi generational uh, in my family and we had a long driveway mm. and when I say long I mean let me think about this we can fit five to six cars back to back like bumper oh, to bumper right so in the winter you had to shovel it like the whole length to get to the street Mm -hmm. so (laughs) what i was thinking about your like and you're like oh i gotta you know shovel the driveway for you know the delivery you know blah blah Mm -hmm. blah and i was like yeah that's like just to create a path or whatever is is one thing let alone like a whole driveway and Mm -hmm. so anyways yeah yeah so like uh, we could probably fit five cars into my our driveway from when I was a kid. Mm. Maybe one, two, because it has this like it's the driveway, and then because it's a two car garage, it has like a section that kind of goes off. So you could park mm-hmm. one there, and park one there, and probably like three behind the mm. three more. If if we have a big family gathering at my aunt. Uh, home, which is where the home I grew up in, we could probably get ten vehicles in the driveway. Oh Lord! All together, like two and two for the four up near the garage, because it was meant to be a double uh, two car garage. Um, mm-hmm. And then, if you pack them <laughs> like <laughs> carefully side by side, everyone like goes to the outside. Like you could probably get them all in there together. Oh yeah. Anyways. Mm. So, yeah. What about you? How are you? Um, oh, man. <laughs> so, my apologies for, like, tuning out. I was trying to do the link thing at the bottom, and anyways. Um, February fatigue. Like, I... Something's going on with me. I don't know what it is. I'm, like, super tired this month. Man. Mm. Um, I just find that I, you know, don't really have energy to do things. Um, like a sound, a song title. Could be. February fatigue. <laughs> so, um, this past week, I went to the chiropractor for the first time mm-hmm. uh, ever in my life. I went on Monday. I went back again Friday. Uh, it's good to have it done, um, but man, it just wipes me out. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, the chiropractor that I'm going to was recommended by someone uh, very close to me that I know, so I trust, you know, mm-hmm. um, going and, you know, it's going to be in part of my insurance, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Nice. So I got scheduled to go in. They did some adjustments. I'm still, like, dealing with some things. Like, right now I can feel it. Like, my my whole left shoulder, like, area is just a mess. Um, last year when I went to my new PCP, I was complaining about these headaches that I kept getting. And so we determined they were tension headaches, and part of it was that, like, all of the muscles on my left side shoulder blade and into my neck were, like, super tight and basically pushing on the nerve that comes up through in the to the back of the base of the skull because I was having these headaches that traveled. So I haven't had headaches for quite a while, but um, or at least with a frequency, but now I'm going and having some stuff done. But, man, like, the chiropractor does this... uh, it's kind of like a tens unit mm. um, with heat application, and uh, it's amazing. But man, they are not lying when they're like afterwards. It feels like you went to the gym. Yeah. Okay. So this big boy has not been to the gym in years. So yeah. Sorry about it. <laughs> just, just like all I do is I just sit on the couch, and he's like, "Don't lay down on the couch," and I'm like. He's like, because he, one of the things he was talking about is he's like, a lot of us have a bad habit of like laying, slouching, leaning. He's like, yeah. and, you know, basically you're, you know, 
telling your body this is a, a normal position when in fact it's not. Mm. So you end up like overextending, you know, muscles in your neck or your back or your hips or whatever. So I've been trying yeah. to be good Makes and do sense. more like proper sitting upright mm -hmm. with a slightly, you know, as much as I can straight back and yada yada. Because he talks about it. He's like, what if we have a habit of doing this? Hold a device, pitch our neck down, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, or we lay down. Know. And then we put a chin on our neck or a chin on our chest. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so anyways, uh, I just started going and like, that's where part of me was like, man, this just wipes me out. But I just think like it's, it's February there. I don't know. There might be something else going on. I've, I'm not, uh, I don't know if I talked about this last month, what's going on or not. Um, I've had one of two shots so far for the COVID vaccination. And the second one is about to happen. We, mm -hmm. um, most everybody that I've read of that has posted, <laughs> footnote, 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 um, has had, you know, symptoms after the second dosage. So there's a part of me that's like, okay, that might happen as well. Yay. That'll be fun. Um, like a lot so, of vaccines. Well, the one of the two that has a two dose regimen, notably more people have symptoms after a certain one. Exactly. I'm not going to name it at the moment. Okay. Um, yeah, but, but I'm say, saying outside of COVID vaccines, other vaccines have a similar issue. True. Yeah. So I'm just like, great. So I'm just, you know, going through stuff. Mm -hmm. um yeah like i mean the snow like i mean it's warmed up thank goodness and now it's oh, just God, pretty much yeah. wet everywhere yeah. yeah i mean we still have snow because mm. uh, it hasn't warmed up long enough to melt it all the way but yeah there's lots of water and stuff yeah. it's raining here today um it's been raining for quite a while um but this week it so literally it went from like teens and snow and and ickiness to like almost 60s and and um windy and decent and then today it's just started to rain again it's yeah, just very it went from like 20s to 80s it's mm -hmm. yeah rough so rough Bitch. <laughs> yeah, we uh Well, I mean we 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 got a heat wave. It got up to what 55? Mm -hmm. 56 one day and I was at work. Like I left on lunch on purpose. Like I didn't have anywhere to go. I didn't have anything to do, but I knew that it was a nice day out. And I was like, I'm just going outside. Like yeah. I just need I need to, I need to breathe some air. Like, because you probably have it for a while. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, and that's the thing about the seasonality for us. I mean, if you live in a region where the seasons are relatively the same all the time, um, then I don't think you have as much. Uh, I don't think you're affected as much. Mm -hmm. Like Damon and I, you know, where where we're at in Ohio and Pennsylvania, we get the four seasons. Mm -hmm. Bama, don't worry about that. Like. Yeah. There is there is spring, summer, fall, winter guaranteed. Like sometimes no in the same week. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> just say uh, it. <laughs> oh, and this just made me think of something weird. Total tangent. I saw the strangest commercial last night before uh -oh. I went to bed on YouTube. I think so. There's a. What, where did this even come from? Oh, it was Smuckers. So there's a, a gentleman who's in his late 30s, I'm presuming, in a kitchen that looks like it is overrun by, like, uh, plants, foliage. And, the, and this seems normal. The little girl comes in and she says how she's hungry for something or he or, oh, and, I know this commercial. Yeah. and the little girl says where's mom and he's like oh mother nature is out or away or something so the family dynamic is mother nature is the mother of the little girl and I don't know who the, the dad is he doesn't have a name um, or anything so anyways he goes and he gets 
uh, Smucker's all natural strawberry preserves or something out of the cupboard and she has a slice of toast or whatever. And then it starts snowing in their kitchen and he's like, Mom's home. <laughs> so strange. It was like a psychedelic. I was like, what in the. <sighs> man. Well, man, we're oh, dealing man. with nature. So, you know, Mother Nature. And... I know, but it was so. I was like, was this a U.S. commercial? Yes. Because. I've said I've said this for like a year. Because the well, see, I don't have like regular. I don't. I say regular. Like I don't have cable, and I hardly have anything that has commercials. So like, it's strange to like to me to be able to see a commercial. And then nowadays, like, it's it's you don't have a TV service. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Because um, you know YouTube TV, it's not cable. Yeah, yeah. and I have it, but watching. Um, anyways, we'll get to that to the end of the episode mm. but so it was such a wild episode but it was making me think of the seasons and and different things i was like mm. what a wild commercial um yeah so i mean i think you know now that march is about to arrive ta-da! um yeah i just feel like this month was really cooped up and not um going a whole lot of places i mean and the pandemic is a factor of that as well so yeah, I uh, just one of those things. Just noticed that this month, like I had very little gumption to go anywhere or do anything. Like, mm-hmm. don't want to be around people, don't want to interact with them. And this isn't so much about like um, wanting to be an introvert and stay isolated. I just not interested. Not it's not a motivational so. issue. Yeah. Um, so. That's kind of it. I mean, I don't know what else to say about the past month. Just started was... like making some efforts to improve my health, and you know, it's like been... it was only four weeks ago that we were in January. Mm-hmm. Well, and here we are. Like we're already two months into the new year. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, and then uh, I feel like my predictions have been true. We probably won't get back to normal until twenty twenty two. I um I don't I feel differently. I'm optimistic. Um, I think that the new administration has been making significant impacts in in terms of improving things that were as we've been discovering slash told. Mm-hmm. We're not necessarily uh, managed and had good leadership before. So that was the past, the entire past four years. Mm. Well, I'm thinking mostly about the pandemic aspect of things mm-hmm. uh, in addressing like supply chains and just, you know, and I mean, the, the amount of stuff that is uh, being handled now is, is pretty impressive and if things continue to improve like as we're recording this just what yesterday i believe um or was it friday the fda gave the emergency youth authorization approval to johnson and johnson for the single dose vaccine um and that's not even been in any of the numbers discussed so far mm. so the 600 million shots by the end of summer is just purely based off of pfizer and moderna and now we add Johnson and Johnson to the mix, and there's a there's like more potential. So I'm pretty optimistic that by the end of summer, those that want to get a vaccine will have gotten a vaccine. That I'm I'm pretty like certain of. Then it will be the whether or not other people actually will go do it. Um and what that impact will be and where we go from there. So I uh I don't know. We'll we'll see how how that stuff is. I'm, I guess there. My feeling on it is, there's probably more folks that are willing to get a vaccine because they were saying to themselves, if this gets us quote unquote back to normal, mm-hmm. <laughs> whatever you know, like, um, so yeah, by this fall into this winter, we could see ourselves moving very much into like the things that we miss doing. That we want mm-hmm. to do um yeah so i was just thinking about that recently i was thinking about how much i miss being able to go places and do things and and as i was discussing with someone recently uh the world is very 
different now when you look back on the past and you're like, boy, we really just kind of went around ignorantly and didn't give a shit about nothing. Mm-hmm. And by that, I mean, like, we would just, like, have a social gathering and not even think twice about <laughs> like, yeah. if anybody has anything and whether or not they're spreading it. Like, I just saw a headline that sort of didn't surprise me that the flu has been almost non-existent this year. And yeah. the majority of, like, the, the, the theory behind it is simply because of the pandemic. Like, like yeah. one, you know, people are keeping sort of distant from each other. And two, pretty much everyone has to wear a mask all the time, which is <clears throat> kind of the main way that the flu gets spit around. Yeah. So, you know, people and, uh, coughing and sneezing and snotting and, you know, all over everything. <laughs> and I will admit this is the first year. Well, last year was the first year in a long time that I actually got the flu vaccine. Well, um, <laughs> I'm with you, David. Like, I'm just I, like, like, yeah. I yeah. never did, like, until now working for the health department. I'm like, all right, I'll go get it. Like, Well, for me, it was just like they said, like, don't, you know, just to be honest, like, that's a really awful one-two punch. You know, if you got the flu and you also got COVID, like, it, it was, yeah. So I, it, I will admit, it, maybe it was scare tactics. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I, I was like. I'm sometimes it's the best method to get people to do something. The best method, right? Agreed. So, um, yeah. Um, and I will probably um, continue to get it. Because it was it was literally going into, I mean, I went to fucking Walgreens. Like, where I, was, I was picking up my medication. Mm-hmm. And I was like, hey, um, can I also get a flu shot? And they're like, sure. Here, fill this out. And within like 10 minutes. I got the shot. Like, it, yeah. Anyway, and you know, and boom. For, yeah. And and to be fair, like I was kind of on some some folks I know. Like I was kind of on their case a little bit. Was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, did you get a flu shot? I got a flu shot. They're like, oh, I have it. Blah blah blah. And I was like, I, I kept fighting myself, being like, dude, you can just schedule it. Like mm-hmm. it, it's. It, the thing about the flu vaccine at the moment, which will end up be, being the case also with COVID, is like eventually, especially for COVID, it will be everywhere. Like you won't mm-hmm. be able to not get it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, like you said, Damon, like you go to where you get your prescriptions to the pharmacy or whatever, you know, uh, over the most recent years in the U.S. Um, medical like sphere so to speak within that bubble a bunch of things have changed more and more we are progressing that we're allowing things to be handled differently and by that i mean like a pharmacist can be an administrator of medicine that used to not be the case Mm -hmm. so they would just be the person that like organizes and packages whatever Mm -hmm. it is Mm -hmm. prescribed and that's the end of it you would still have to go to a doctor quote unquote or to a a certain classification like a nurse or something of that sort and and a bunch of that's been changing um i know like even in emergency uh like medicine kind of stuff like with emts and paramedics over the years that stuff has been modifying as to who can administer what where when um given the circumstances and that's it's a big deal because it used to be you know like when you took an ambulance like they they couldn't do anything for you like they just literally transported your ass like yeah you know, from from a to b that was it like now they can do a bunch a whole series of things between those two destinations so when you get to the other place like your ass might still be alive um mm-hmm. so yeah it's a uh, and as a okay and as a, another random aside and then we're gonna move on. Uh, I found out that like ambulance paramedic stuff began in Pittsburgh, PA, with a community that was all black, and that they were tired of like not necessarily having the ability to like get the treatment as quickly, and that's what prompted the concept and the idea of people being like minimally medically trained to assist in a situation to get them to the next destination i was blown away by that anyways so black history month y'all educating people like just thinking Mm -hmm. it was it was a Mm -hmm. podcast thing i listened to it and i was like get the f out of town i was like i didn't even know know. more you know (laughs) (laughs) seemed appropriate Uh uh are we ready yeah, All right. let's move on. Uh, go on, girl, Miss Janet. Uh, Gary, what's been going on over in the Facebooks? Uh, we get some activity in the past month, question mark. Um, 
I didn't remember seeing some of this stuff from before, so I'm guessing it's in the past month. We got a series of likes on Facebook, so we would like to thank the following people for liking us. Uh, Giancarlo Durland, or Durland, Dominic Joseph, Chris Armo Jmirjian, my apologies for butchering that, Patrick Temple and Eric Jenkins. We also got some comments on a post. Robert Miller said, happy 13th, guys. And Joshua Pangborn said, happy anniversary. Yay. 13 years of Cups Out Loud. We're teenagers now. Look out. All hell breaks loose. <laughs> hormonal and... teenagers. <laughs> Honey, we were hormonal from the get. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's... Fact, but... Instagram. We got some new followers. Um, uh, this is going to be challenging. I think this is L2CNGO2002. We're going to go with that. Uh, mm -hmm. Matt Kyle 9 and Richard Moo. Yeah, that's M U. Um, mm. Followed us on Instagram. So, Mr. Damon, what about uh, YouTube? Okay. We got a new subscriber on YouTube that was Du Glar. Welcome. And then we got a few comments on um, episode um, 589. We know. Space. <laughs> we know, just so you're aware. <laughs> um, but Edward, <laughs> Maciel, and Owen both sort of commented that the audio, there was no audio. So top corner left, top corner, top left corner bear has no audio. Ooh, top. Um, and then waiting to see if Jeff's audio is fixed which is by Owen. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, it was one of those situations where we could hear Jeff and... Um, My streaming software apparently for some reason decided that it didn't, rec didn't recognize the mic that's been using the entire time before. So I want to say something about this because David Go and I re it. typically record COLDR on Sunday evenings right now. Um, by the way, for those of you that are tuned in uh, live, there will not be an episode recorded tonight because there wasn't an actual aired episode. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> they did a little special thing about COVID. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, but right after this happened to Jeff, the same thing happened for our episode. So mm -hmm. OBS had an update or something. I don't know what happened, but um, I we usually like test... And I don't remember, it was just the pre-show, David? Like, we recorded and then yeah. I caught that, like, the meter wasn't moving or something. And I was like, are you effing kidding me? So then I went back and listened. <laughs> sure enough, all we could hear was David. Harder. Nothing else. To be so, yeah. fair, I didn't talk much that episode. So you didn't mean much. You talked more than you thought because... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> all you heard <laughs> was David, me... Silence. <laughs> <Like> <laughs> yeah. And be, I think because none of your stuff was uh, not only your mic, but like none of the sound stuff, I think. Mm. Anyways. I'd have to listen yeah. to it again. Yeah, video. Was um, fine, so different things. Anyways. And then <laughs> on the COL Gaming episode uh, for WoW Covenant Transmox, um, I don't know if I said that right. Um, mm -hmm. Riduin Robain. I also don't know if I said that wrong, right? Um, said good game. Good game. Yay. GG. Good game. There you go. People are commenting on my CML gaming videos. I'm excited about that. Um, whoop, whoop. Over in the Twitterverse, uh, we've got uh, a few more people with ridiculous numbers in their names. We got uh, Zhangbai290304333. UK Harry Bear, 1992. That's not ridiculous. It's a year. Uh, Bear Pig, 1781. Maybe ridiculous. Eric, <laughs> Eric Wood, 48231. I hope that's not your zip code. Uh, PDX underscore new. Rich underscore cub. And Abel, 73164833. Again, ridiculous number in their name. <laughs> Uh, but we're we're glad you're following. That's the more important part. Yeah, I'm not sure as to how people end up with these sequences of numbers at the end of their names. Like it, like so, it makes sense when you when the number seems like other people have already claimed that. So, like 
We had 23, bear picks, 10. Right, like bear pick 1781. I'm not quite sure what the 1781 represents. Like, is it a part of a phone number? Hopefully not part of your social security number. Uh, you know, is it a part of an address? Something significant that means something to you? Were you born January 7th, 1981? That was a little too easy to guess for me. So perhaps you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Anyways. Um, <laughs> and I'm just saying as a, as a generic, like, like one of the things that I shared recently Favorite on Facebook year in was history. that. Yeah, right. Could be. Uh, yeah, I like, I recently shared on Facebook this, like, mean thing about, like, stop giving away all your security information. Because it's like, what's your favorite color? What was your first car? Where did you graduate from high school? Where were you born? What's your mother's maiden last name? It's like, what? <laughs> no. No, no, no. Stop doing those little pop quiz, like, things. Just, no. No, no, no. I don't. I don't do any of that. So, as much as some of y'all might want to know some of that about me, it's it's not not part of my my deal. When it comes to that. You know how you can you can you can find all those that stuff out. You can have a fun little conversation with someone in person. <laughs> Both of you wearing masks, socially distanced. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or 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 by a private chat. I don't want it. I don't want it written down. <laughs> right. I don't have it. Written down. Yeah, I suppose. Phone call. Whatever. Something along those lines. Anyways, uh, Gary, what's been the show's been like this month? Uh, so the past month we did. Uh, well, we did uh, what's going on for January 2020, and then uh, we had um, Drew come on, and we talked about losing our gay spaces. Um, and then we had, uh, Paul, Mr. Paul Laner come on and we did, um, episode 590 was HAH, the event haunters against hate. He's actually doing a, a con, a convention, so to speak of sorts, which, um, I just want to say, I think that is the most perfect idea for, for Paul to do because, you know, him putting together the nonprofit and going through getting the trademark, the licensing, the 501c status, like all the stuff that he's been doing, he's been traveling and going to haunt conventions for a few years. And I'm like, well, that's a natural evolution. Like, mm -hmm. just put on your own. Um, so I'm I'm excited, like, you know, and, and hopefully that's very uh, successful and, and prosperous. So. And then last week, uh, so episode 591, we had Mr. Edward Angelini Cook come and join us for a Let's Talk About Sex, and we discussed orgasm versus ejaculation. It's a, when they, this is the month of uh, guest hosts. Guess. Something of that yeah. sort. Hmm. So last week was more of a discussion about <gasps> versus the <laughs> So, you know, there's that. <laughs> That's like it kind of like it sounded like a fart, but you know, whatever. I knew what you meant. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I guess I could have said splat. I don't know. It doesn't necessarily <laughs> splat. <laughs> what? Anyways, you okay over there, David? <laughs> so, so, so much randomness. <laughs> we, we, we broke, David. Hey, let's uh, let's just go into this. <laughs> And that's enough. Uh, <laughs> I gotta, I'm gonna start okay. with one that uh, Gary Go knows about it. because she, he replied to it. Uh, one of our oh. uh, uh, guest hosts, uh, uh, Cubs, is uh, posted a pic, pic uh, of him in his uh, pup mask, uh, saying, "Need to remember to be more careful with hypno." Apparently, I was a confuzzled pup last night, and I thought oh. it was kind of silly. Plus he's Ooh. adorable. So Ooh. that's a face. That's a look. He's he's looking like he's hypnoed. Well, probably. And he probably took a picture, which is very interesting. A very I, I I am I am I'm not confusing. I get I get it because I know like some of the things that happen during hypno um play. But I'm just, ooh, that's the best. That's... Well, this was after, this was post, so. Right. I, I may, yeah, again, that's what yeah. I mean. Like, right. like, ah, uh, yeah, this is so, very interesting. A couple observational notes. Um, the buffalo plaid, red, black, 
like fabric mask mm-hmm. deal. That's pretty cute. Like yeah, I yeah. like that. And it has what looks like a matching collar to go with it. Um, I don't think this is intentional, but I think those are pillows or something behind him, like in the upper right corner of the picture. And I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, look, blue, white, black, and red. The colors uh-huh. of the leather pride flag. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think that was planned, but, you know. Yeah, I did end up replying to this, and I was like, oh, because he, you know, he makes a comment about Hypno. And I was like, but then I just went look at his timeline. I'm like, there's no other reference. So this really was. It's like, can not... I get some more information? Right. There, Like, there wasn't quite context into, like, what happened as to why hypno took place or when who administered like all of that i'm i was more intrigued to learn more about that aspect of things but it wasn't mm. um, included so yeah 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 uh, i was like oh like can you elaborate what happened yeah. <laughs> i am curious i am intrigued yeah damon what do you got um so i have um if it'll blow for me that'll be great that would be awesome okay so um i have it says feel kind of thick might delete later i don't know idk and it's from um siku koshiro or at siku koshiro um and it's a very lovely very thick um built um beefy man waxing and 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 in all his new glory yeah oh jesus christ yep 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 <laughs> very why very lovely. can't i oh man Uh-oh. does anybody know why you can't message certain people uh, they may not have, um, messaging up. This person, it could also be, sometimes their settings, they may be blocking people. They may have already blocked you. Brood. Well, I don't know. Actually, you probably wouldn't be able to see that thing if you have, if they have uh, blocked. I think they might, so. I think there's also things like they have to follow you. Also that too. too so. But yeah, there, he is, I don't. Things in place to to prevent people from getting unwanted messages. Anyways, because uh, someone I know, I just realized their Twitter's probably been hacked, and so because of the ah. shit they're posting, it's all a whole series Uh-oh. of advertisements a few minutes ago, and I can't message them uh-huh. to be like, "I think you were hacked," or change your password. Uh oh. I know them on other platforms. I'll find them another way. There you go. <sighs> But here, yeah, this is a very, just very beautiful man. He's in Jesus. California. Yeah. Those thighs. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> they save lives. Thick thighs save lives. Yeah. Thick thighs save lives. Um, he just, yeah. That, that was the, like, <laughs> that was the big thing for me. I was like, Jesus Christ. Like, Yeah. But he's he's a very beautiful man, and that is, he has obviously, you know, is working on building his body, and God bless that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gary. Um, Two uh, submissions for this month. So uh, the first one I called Construction Build, because it actually doesn't have a caption or anything. Um, mm-hmm. At I am Tiger back posted these pictures. Um, it's two pictures presumed in a series um, side by side. The first one, he's wearing a ball cap, oh. and uh, <laughs> um, oh, I'm seeing a consistent theme. Anyways, uh, <laughs> this outdoor kind of like parka jacket um, uh-huh. with a construction helmet, like you know to. Jeez protect your noggin only it's over top of his other head um but the boy <laughs> has thick thighs thick calves um thick ass calves. He's pinching oh, his no. nipple with his sweatpants oh, down no, around no. his ankles yeah it's a it's a hot photo and then the next photo in the series oh okay so we still have the jacket i'm not sure what the story is it looks like it's falling or it's strapped on anyways um or it's hanging on something behind him yeah 
I'm not sure. But anyways, you get a more picture of, of all the mm-hmm. stuff to enjoy. What are you um, doing? Yeah. Those arms. <laughs> yeah. I so. Mean, like muscle, like this kind of like thickness is usually not my like cup of tea but i'll happily like if if it's offered to me i will happily take a sip like let's just like (laughs) i i I like the muscles that aren't like showing the the ripped muscles i like the muscles that have padding and he kind of has padding over it yeah like you see that they're strong and big but they're it's also smooth yeah so if you go to their profile, to their actual account, and go through their pictures, there's a whole series that goes together. Like this mm. photo location. Um, oh. Okay. There's the video. What's he doing? Ooh, oh, I don't. I haven't gotten to the video yet. I've gotten to the Oh, picture. wait. That's not. I don't think that's him, though. <laughs> oh. Oh. My, my, my. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Come on. Where is your media? I want to see your media because I don't think that was you. Um, your media. There we go. Oh, he's got some. Oh, anyway. <laughs> oh, this whole series about. of photos is really nice. Oh, yeah. Ooh. There's pictures of him with someone else. Hold up, hold up. I know. <laughs> Probably just saw the one that I was like making reference uh-huh. to. Part of me where I was I like, oh, follow. okay. Oh, that's a- we can we can make a, a a partial presumption about their preference. Um. Oh. 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 Okay. Sorry, y'all. Oh. Mm. Anyways, yeah. Hard to focus. And follow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then you had another one. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Fiery Biscuits, because, um, you know, we all love Fiery. And um, so I said, uh, <laughs> need new jeans. For those of you that saw these previously, then you'll know what I'm talking about. He posted and said, so uh, I might need some new jeans. <laughs> oh. I sat down and heard a tearing noise, and suddenly my balls felt a lot cooler. <laughs> At least I have easy access if I want to fondle myself. Lovely. Laughing you bitch. That's adorable. Yeah. I mean, he's just so, adorable in general. Yeah, yeah, so it's a picture of him. Uh, of course, he always looks adorable, but he's sitting there. The first picture is kind of resigned, like, ah, oh, shit. Um, yeah. Which to me is amusing. He's like, great. So my, you know junk is just going to hang out but then he decides to take advantage of it and have fun so yeah Yeah. Yeah. cutie patootie and of course you know everybody not everybody but lots of positive reinforcement uh everybody kind of enjoying it and people even asking about like is there a video of this like what's the you know wanting more 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 (laughs) yeah there we go Anyways, moving on into the links, uh, I'm gonna say uh, what I've been drinking. Um, this is this is a shaker cup. So if I take it off, it actually has an insert, uh, which is kind of like a the fanish sort of thing to help agitate anything that is inside. Because uh, I've uh, actually started drinking some G Fuel. Uh, G Fuel. It is a energy supplement. Uh, they have like like cans, but they all uh, but a lot of their stuff is um, uh, energy powder. So mm. uh, like things, if you put a dose into into here, uh, fill up the cup to whatever volume you want and then uh it is sugar free it is gluten free let's see what is it uh how did i say it and it's like think of it as like monster not carbonated 
no mm -hmm. sugar. Interesting. Uh, they also have a hydration formula for for those who just want the flavors, but but none because. Uh, and uh, I believe it's like it's there's no allergens in it. It's all natural ingredients. Huh. Flavoring may not and they have taste like, natural, but. And they have on their site, because I just, you know, clicked the link. Mm -hmm. um, they have a starter kit, which is a 16 ounce shaker cup and seven different servings of the of the gin. Yeah, drink. variety. Ah, yeah, so a little variety this so is, that you can kind of. Yeah, so I got a starter pack and then I got a tub. <clears throat> the tubs are not like tub, like a big tub thing it's like small but there's 40 mm. servings in there and because it is oh, caffeine wow. still mm -hmm. it's not something that you like drink constantly through the day it's like boosts of energy like this morning yeah energy drink. yeah you know um, like when you got like if you just got up kind of thing like holy shit i've got to go do a podcast in like an hour let me have some tea fuel so no, I can no it's more like out. More like I need to do a podcast in a half an hour because I slept in a little bit. <clears throat> mm. Um, yeah, it's they it uh, this they even have like where was it? Because I'm looking at their fact uh, to to get it. Uh, is G Fuel safe for everyone? All of our products are made from natural ingredients. G Fuel is sugar free, gluten free, and packed with a ton of antioxidants and B vitamins. Uh, and I believe even like there's people who, um, uh, where is it? I'm trying to find where we mentioned this. Here it is. It's like, uh, UFC fighters, esports athletes, a uh, bodybuilder, skateboarders, YouTube stars, fitness models, and even NFL players all trust the healthy energy focus and an endurance and G fuel. They've got an entire site called Team Gamma, which lists like all the uh, celebrity endorsements, I suppose. So mm. it's not just for gamers. Let me just say this. Yeah. It, I mean, that's kind of like, you know, gamers drink energy drinks. Uh, so there's kind of like the, the main market, but it's, it's not just for for gamers. I um, <laughs> yes, I was not prepared to visit the website and to have to like look at pink drip. <laughs> it's their new flavor. It, they just. Uh, is there a different flavor that like they could really kind of promote and not and, make and, me think you need to go to a get that checked? I mean, I just... <laughs> in this case, it's their new flavor, so they're putting it uh, putting it up front. But uh, in the tubs, they've got uh, Galaxy Grape Moon Pie flavor, Bobby Boysenberry, uh, Ice Shatter, and Scorpion Sting, which are uh, promos for Mortal Kombat Eleven. Uh, there's PewDiePie, which is uh, uh, a uh, cranberry uh, flavor, um, which was in partnership with PewDiePie. <laughs> um, sour Blue Chug Rug, Fosberry, Tropical Rain, Hype Sauce, Blue Ice, Snow Cone. Snow Cone's actually not too bad. Mm -hmm. We got mm -hmm. Strawberry Banana, Bahama Mama, Watermelon, Rainbow Sherbert. Strawberry shortcake. Cool. French Lots vanilla iced coffee. Uh, um, they, they got a whole bunch of different ones. A lot, a lot of the names kind of end up being themes with like either partners or just like again, their mm -hmm. initial market was pretty much gamers, uh, but mm -hmm. it, it's not just for gamers. Cool. But they do kind of give a logo of like what fruits or, or 
what the theme taste is supposed to be with each of them. Okay. I like it. It's a little expensive, but energy drinks. Uh, but it, it's like uh, 36 bucks for a container of 40 servings for, for the tubs. So that's like less than a buck per serving. Like Correct. that's like 18 ounces. <laughs> they, they are not sponsoring this episode. It's my well, pick for the month. I just, I'm saying it because I enjoy it. I'm just saying this is why I think you guys might enjoy it. Mm. Here are the plus side. Cool. Yeah. I um, as you as you were naming off the flavors or whatever, I was like, if I close my eyes and I'm not paying attention, I might be like, so there's a new line of poppers out. What? <laughs> <laughs> No, Bad no, kid. that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> what? I'm just that's fair. Saying. No, that's totally fair. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's totally valid, and here's why to all you bitches out there. Because they made a fucking pumpkin spice like popper. I don't want to hear it. Like if they if they could make that shit, then anything is possible. All these funky bass like Kool Aid flavor things, whatever. I don't care. But that's my pick. Got it. Gary. Uh, I just have one pick because I haven't really watched Netflix this past month. Um, I don't know how else to say this. If you don't already know, if you aren't already annoyed, uh, mm -hmm. I the internet sensation on Disney Plus that is WandaVision. Mm -hmm. Child, I don't know what to tell you. Um, yeah. So I'm going to, before you kind of, go ahead, go ahead. Go Jeff, ahead. is that you? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I'm pouring my uh, uh, half and half into my shaker cup to. You just give us a little warning. Of... Sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't think it would <laughs> make <laughs> like, so much sound. I was like, wait a minute. I don't think anybody got up and left. <laughs> I do not have a wireless headset right now, so. Uh, he did not pull a Damon and unintentionally <laughs> record himself pissing. No, he did not do that. No. No. Yeah. Anyway, Gary, continue. Oh. So, anyways, uh, just the whole series. Um, this coming Friday uh, is the finale of the the nine episode series. Now people are wondering if there's going to be a season two, which I mm -hmm. kind of doubt. It was meant to be just one season. Um, yeah, but yeah. The, so the the thing, the emotional arc of people who have been watching this show, for those that have been vocal about it, I'll put it that way, is. Man, the first three to four episodes really got people. Like, either you were cool with it and you liked it, or you did not. Mm -hmm. The concept of the season overall, or the series overall, is that the the majority of the series is that each episode it was based off of, like, kind of sitcom tropes from mm -hmm. uh, U.S. television, like, you know, history. And I was fine with it. I was like, I'm just going to... But this is the way I am. Like, I'm just going to watch it and be entertained. I'm not mm -hmm. going to make it into what I want it to be. Or you know what I mean? Like I wasn't going to put expectations on it for what I'm looking for out of it. Because why? Oh, that's right. I have no control over this. Like yeah. it's already in the can. It is just airing. It is for me to watch. And either I'm mm -hmm. entertained or I'm not entertained. Like it's that simple. But man, people got yeah. fed up. Holy cats. Yeah. It's been very interesting listening to these people and the feelings that they've got. There are a lot of people that are like, if I don't read the comments, I'm not going to understand. That's not true. Because I actually, that's the question I wanted to ask you, Gary, because you're not a like comic book reader. You don't know what this is relating to or referring to. Well, right? I do. But that's only because I have binged the fuck out of YouTube like <laughs> show analysis 
like uh... discussion panels like that's why i haven't watched netflix this month it's been youtube all the time because i'm watching all these different channels like what cracks yeah. me up now is that three of them that i watch regularly specifically for one division are now cross-referencing each other which is hysterical to me um <laughs> so you know yeah. uh crush heavy spoilers and new rock stars are like cross-referencing each other every now and then which cracks my ass up um mm -hmm. like they, they're all at the same like sphere or universe so to speak of what they're what they're critiquing and commenting on yeah. but what i love is that the they're pretty well versed at least what i think in the comic book history so they mm -hmm. keep explaining like what this might mean what this little like easter egg is how this references this other thing how like the big reveal in the post credit scene or in the mid credit scene of the most recent episode is like a callback to this other part. Oh, like, and I'm just, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How very interesting. And, and that sort of the thing I've been, the big complaint I've got, I've seen or heard of is like, I don't want to have to know all of this other like comic book backstory to know what's going on. You don't like, I'll just like put it like blunt and out there. You don't, if you mm -hmm. just watch say the movies, and then you started watching this, is it going to be weird? Yeah. Especially like the beginnings, because what's going on, what's happening doesn't necessarily make sense. But then once they pu have pulled back the curtain, as it were, on some of the stuff, mm -hmm. now it's starting to make sense. So if you just watch the show, like just the show, and you kind of got a feel for it, you would, you would get... It, it, it's... You would get an inkling that there's more to what happened to Wanda when she got her powers in the MCU than meets the eye. Like that this that's what this episode, like this most recent episode, was all about. And that kind of like caught me off guard in a lot of ways, because it didn't make it didn't make sense. But what it is doing for those that don't know the comics is it is aligning her character and powers more in line with the character in the comics right so it is it complicated hell yeah did you have to know all that shit to know what's going on no you didn't so this is all um, about actually discovering all that and this is this is just the wanda from mc from the mcu yeah. this is the, yeah. It is completely separate from the comic books, Wanda. So, yeah. Just like every other character in the MCU is in some way separate from their comic book, it, they're different. They're 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 different. Like it's not a. It is a the MCU, like everything else in cinematic, is is a representation of the character, but it is not a direct like everything that happened in the comics is happening into into the character like that's just it and i'm i'm going on a tangent i'm going a bit on a rant because it kind of bothers me that all these people are all like like well this is what's happening and if i knew the comics i wouldn't like no like it, it. and i will also say um you don't have to like the show is <laughs> it a good it's a good show like word i, I like, I like the show. I like the show. But, you know, you may not like it. It may not be your thing. You may have watched the first episode and been like, or the first two episodes that came out at the same time, and be like, eh, what is it? What the fuck's going on? It's, and it's like it, it's like a six hour or whatever, however many minutes this entire thing would end up totaling uh, mm -hmm. movie. Because, you know, obviously not all the yeah. MCU movies were even good. <laughs> Not all the and, and the big thing was not. All I was the entertained movies, by all that, the movies, but like, yeah, like uh, Thor: The Dark World, I, uh, right? I, I didn't. But, I didn't watch any. The only Thor movie I watched was Ragnarok. But um, you, you need. Uh, you, 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 I, I know. I know. We need to. Hook you <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Trust me. There's a lot I wanted to watch and haven't had time. God. Anyway, so just in regards to to that. Um, what I have learned as a watcher of the Marvel's stuff 
like all of it is they are slow burns. They are almost always slow burns. There's mm-hmm. always just a little bit of just a little bit of a taste to kind of keep you watching and keep you entering. It's like a drug. And then it then you kind of it overall it wraps into itself and then reveals what's going on. So everything that happened in the beginning, just like this one. This episode, episode eight, not episode one, episode eight. <laughs> We find out what happened and why it happened in episode one. If if yeah. if, if you're if you're watching, so like, so it it it's well, you find out in episode eight what led to the whole series. Exactly, exactly. So it's just like yeah, and that's eight over eight episodes. There's the yeah, eight episodes. So it it is not going to make sense if you watch the first two episodes and then you know it, it it's, it's just not going to make sense you have to watch the whole series and maybe you could be one of those people that watches all eight episodes or all nine episodes after it all they all come out that's fine and dandy by all means do that Time but don't be. shit on people that enjoy that are enjoying it and enjoying it from the I am a comic book fan and I know this story and I know where some of these plot points are coming from and who Monica is and who like, you know, what who Agatha is and all that stuff. You know, I I I'm I'm you know figuring all these things and it's great to have those to be a comic book fan and know those things. But you don't have to know those things and you shouldn't shit on those that don't know those things. And on the flip of that, you shouldn't shit on those that do know those things. David is starting to go into a recursive loop. Yep. 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 I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> so, so anyways, um, if you, if you like, you know, comic slash science fiction, fantasy stuff, um, and you have the ability, I suggest that you, that you check it out. It's really intriguing and it definitely like i think the part that that there's a couple things that have bothered people one is the fact that they're doing it like weekly you know Mm -hmm. so each episode comes out once a week so we've been forced to watch it over two months as opposed to binging and Mm -hmm. part of me is like get over it children like that's the way television used to be it's not the end of the world Mm -hmm. to like yeah wait you know to anticipate to learn to have patience maybe Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. And like so, yeah. The in between the Fridays, my my life ends up including <laughs> watching other things, supposing what the next episode is going to be about and what the last episode said. Mm-hmm. Um, and this Friday being the finale is very intriguing because I'm in agreement with people. Like, is it going to be two hours long? Because I really don't know if like an they hour get episode it all in thirty minutes, yeah, is really gonna bring everything together but you don't know when this leads into the other movies and the mcu and all that kind of stuff so anyways we'll we'll see where where things go but that that was the only thing i realized for the past month that i've been like um really kind of uh strict about so to speak and like making sure that i you know could watch and try to avoid uh spoilers and and stuff so Mm -hmm. and and if you don't have disney plus get it for a month cancel it right away and then then well, you get better a couple days and cancel. It well, and that's really that's day. true because as of this Friday, you'll be able to binge it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like once the the last episode number nine airs, although if you, if you prefer the Netflix yeah. model, have you guys heard that there's a, an internet rumor? There's no truth to this. That there's an internet rumor that there's a tenth episode. Oh no. Right. Heard so that. that started online that there's there's supposedly a secret episode coming. And I'm like, it can't be a secret if we're already talking about it. I don't know how that, <laughs> <laughs> how that works. Well, it, it would be considered secret if yeah. Disney hasn't announced it. Well, here's the thing is people are so rapid about this show that they're like, like I keep seeing video pop-ups about spoilers for the next episode that like somehow people are getting access to information or yeah, there's screeners out there or whatever. Yeah. So I'm like, so there, there's a part of me that's like, I avoid that. Cause I'm like, I don't, I don't want to like be spoiled. Yeah, one of the, yeah, be one to... of the big things I've been trying not to do, like, I know you've watched kind of everything. 
Uh, I tend to just watch like the Easter eggs and maybe a couple of things, but the things I'm not doing is watching things like theories and what's going on. Like that's my YouTube like stop on it. I will watch the episode. Hard to avoid going watch, into your YouTube hole. <laughs> watch, yeah, watching like the Easter eggs and stuff that you might have missed because I like those because they kind of do explain a little bit more. Screen Crush is really good with that, by the way. Um, and that's usually it. I try not to watch too many things that are degree based are trying to predict what's going to happen because I don't want to necessarily know what's going to happen. I want to watch the episode and enjoy it for what it is as opposed to thinking about what it might be. I mean, I'll have, I'll base, I'll create my own like personal theories, but that's my personal opinions, fear, feelings, thoughts on it. And I'd rather not take away from that by getting so deep down on things because the, like the, as mentioned in the chat, um, one of my, uh, the, there's a whole spoiler. It's like, if you don't watch it the day of, like, I've, I've heard people like waiting until like two, three in the morning to watch it just so that they can not be spoiled, which I think is like ridiculous. But um, I have immunity to spoilers, though. So. Yeah. I don't mind. I don't. I don't. I. I don't like it if something happens. And I guess I'm lucky. I've been lucky that I have some friends that are being respectful. And while they'll say something about the show, they won't say much. Um. And I'm again. I'm. I'm not following a lot of things on Twitter and stuff. And I tend to not do. My Twitter is mostly porn. Anyway, so. Um, <laughs> Um, so I try not to like, I don't get this, I don't get that like flood of information. Mm. Um, oh yeah. Anyway, I find, I find honestly that drag race is more spoiled than WandaVision is for me, but that's, that's just like the nature mm -hmm. of who you follow. Mm -hmm. and things. Yeah. Anyways, so. that's what folks, yeah. that's the end. Aw. Play ways to contact us, pop over to our website, comes out loud.com. Shoot us an email, it comes out loud at gmail.com. You can leave us voicemail at sex or otherwise at 361 will talk. That's 361 265 1855. You can follow us on various social media outlets such as Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube. You can also join our entourage chat on Telegram at tinyworld.com slash telegram dash col, which for some strange reason, every time I update Telegram, I have to re-add it mm. weird at least it's not knocking off my permissions anyways that's the sad point um you can also find out when we're planning and doing these shows uh by going to tinyurl.com slash calendar dash col you can get various uh assortment of merchandise such as uh v3 shirts that both damon and i are wearing as you can see you can get them in various styles and colors uh or a uh Consent is my foreplay shirt that that Gary is wearing. Can't really see it that well, but that's fine. Um, that's all over at zazzle.com slash comes out loud. Again, um, they have various different localizations. So scroll down to the bottom, pick your country. Cheaper shipping, I can almost guarantee you. Uh, you can also become a patron at <laughs> patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud, or if you want to send us some cash, you can go to paypal.me slash Cubs Out Loud. Uh, you can uh, rate and subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Play uh, Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, and Audible, and probably anywhere else that uh, the podcast can be found. Uh, you can find me anywhere on the internet as box that box puppy box got box something or other or on Twitch as Windgem W Y N D G E M where I've been playing a shit ton of WoW, and also there's Bears and Dragons, which mm -hmm. uh, they just had a whole thing with the meeting uh, the metallic dragons in favor, and so uh, that was kind of <laughs> exciting. Although I'm really bad at these council session things, so I summarize a lot of things. So yeah, it's. Every DM is different. I am not Matt Mercer. No one's Matt Mercer. Yeah. They, Except and that's Matt Mercer. fine. <laughs> and that's fine. Yeah. I, I get anyway, ideas from him. Uh, I, I just know one thing. I am not Matt Mercer. Anyway, David. Um, if you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me as Theater Cup 79 on most bear related sites or on Facebook 
Or you can find me as pup underscore umbra on Twitter. Twitter is not safe for work. Not at all, Gary. No, <laughs> ma'am. No. <laughs> If you would like did you to guess, get... see what I share. <laughs> no, I did not. Uh, but if you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as Gabriel Seven Three. And with that, uh, uh, say good day, everybody. Good day. <laughs> Ciao for now.